Jane Harper? No Jane today? Della, you two are usually joined at the hip. Any ideas? No, miss. Oh, right. Anyone else? <laughs> she didn't go home last night, miss. <laughs> OK, OK. Nothing like a bit of gossip to make registration go with a swing. Hey, do you fancy pop around for dinner at ours later? Oh, Mike, that's lovely. Um, but is it terribly messy at the moment? I'm not criticising Fiona. She can keep house however she likes. It's just that with my dust allergy and, and being around a lot of clutter, it's, it's not good for me. Not now. Yeah, well, uh, Fiona's giving it a really good going over as we speak, so um, don't worry, you won't recognise it. Well, I think it's good that you're not going overboard on this. I mean, there's bound to be a really obvious explanation as to where Jane is. So you don't think there's anything in these rooms about her teacher, do you, Fiona? <coughs> well, no, no, of course not. I mean, just because he hasn't told anyone where he is. I mean, sometimes there are personal things you have to go and do on your own, privately. Hey, that'll be... Frankie! Frankie. So, how is uh, Duncan taking this? Oh, you know, so... Well, they're working him uh, 24 hours right now. It's um, difficult to have time to talk. Yeah, it's the curse of the office job. I know I'd like to stick mine. All right, Frankie. Uh, do you want some food, Frankie? Uh, no, thanks. I've already eaten this free. Go on. They're inseparable, those two. Yeah, like Della and Jane. Where is she? Where is she, Mike? Oh, kids do this sometimes, don't they? Remember when you packed your bags? You and Roxy off to some gig. Yeah, off to the Bay City Rollers in Belfast. It's funny to think of us in that little council flat. I know what people think when they meet me. Nice middle-class doctor, nice middle-class home, posh fridge. Well... Of course, they don't realise it all started out as an act. Doesn't matter how you talk. You're a good person, that's what matters. I just wanted to give Jane all the things that we never had. You know. Of course, that's not what really makes a family, is it? What's this? That's what I wanted to know. Found it under my windscreen wiper. Have the police done this? The, the police would have put their number on it. Ryan. Ryan! Don't jump to any conclusions now, Natalie. Excellent. Did you do this? Yeah. Well, I should spread the word. It's on the net, too. Are you trying to make our lives miserable? I can't do anything right in this house. Yes, you can, Ryan. You go back upstairs and take this off the net. Then you retrace your steps and get as many of these as you can find. Oh. Why, I, Uncle Mike. How do you think Della's coping? Well, you know, okay. I mean, obviously she's worried. Because she's, um, she's been out of sorts at school. I mean, you know, she's not the most outgoing kid at the best of times, but this week. Well, you know, come on. Well, she's, she's been used to being around Jane so much, and she just seems a bit vulnerable. Seem to know my daughter better than I do. I wouldn't go that far. Look, I'm, I don't mean to be neurotic, it's just... Oh. It just depresses me, you know, that whatever's going on inside Della's head, my own daughter can hardly bring herself to speak to me. You sure you want to watch this now? Oh, yes. Just nice for us all to be together, really, isn't it? Oh, look, here they come. <laughs> you two are so excited about them, aren't you? Twins' first birthday. Innocent times, eh? Oh, seems like only yesterday. Oh, get ready for the song. Gosh, you always had such a good voice. Yeah, and Alex had really mastered those three chords. <laughs> Happy birthday, Lauren Becky. Happy birthday sorry. to you. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well done, Alex. What, what did I do? Oh, why do we have to have this bloody video on in the first place? <laughs> Was Natalie's idea, Mum? You know, you are so bloody insensitive. <sighs> well, there's only one person who has that kind of access, and that's the head. I mean, he does random checks, but... Uh, Fiona, this is not a random check. It's one locker, my daughter's. My missing daughter's. OK. Wait here, I'll go and see if I can get the master keys. Thank you very much. Well, if 
you can't abuse your position to help your sister-in-law, what's the point of being a teacher? Oh, I'm sorry to keep leaning on you like this, Mike. That's all right. What are brothers for? Oh. Ryan. Well, he might have news. I have had it up to here with him and his pranks. I know I should be more patient, but honestly... No reply, I'm afraid. I'll try my father, but <clears throat> I wouldn't hold out too much hope. Mike, I saw Fiona the school today. Well, I don't suppose she knows much. Her teachers are always the last to find out what's going on in their class. Yeah, Mike, about Fiona... Switched off? To be honest, it usually is. Mother thinks he's having an affair. But you don't know if she's going away at all? Yeah, she's got a conference um, next week. In Europe? <laughs> no, I think it's Reading. She won't thank me for telling you this, but... While he was in Manchester, she couldn't get hold of him at all. Still, he's at that age, I suppose. Midlife crisis, blah, blah, blah. Do you have any idea when he might actually be back? No idea at all. We don't keep track of each other's movements in this house. We'll call back a bit later on if it's all the same to you. As you wish, officers. Do you want me to walk you back? No, do you know, I can't quite face going home just yet. Um. You know, there might be news, and if there is news, it might be bad, and... Well, maybe she'll have rung or something. Maybe. Dr Harper, I'm afraid there's been a development. A body's been found. Duncan, I'm sorry, I can't... Now, we have to know. If we go out of that door, it'll be real. We have to do this for our daughter. Dr. Harper, Mr. Harper, is this your daughter? It's okay. It's all right. It's not. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Fresh air never tasted this good. Hey, look at you. All right. I think I'm going to walk home, okay? Yeah. We'll see you back there, yeah? Oh. That kid, Duncan. Oh. Tracks on her arm. She'd been an addict for some time. She can't have been much older than Jane. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh. What must her parents be going through now? It's like your worst nightmare. I can't imagine what you were going through when they pulled that sheet back. Oh, don't. I thought I saw her. Just for a minute. And then she was gone. Yeah, I mean, um, that call, I mean, obviously I was relieved, but I, I just, I can't imagine what you must have felt like. Mike, I want you to leave right now and go and play football. Oh, uh, sorry, I um, You know, I think... can't believe that we gave up on her like that. We went into that room thinking we were going to see Jane, and that was wrong. It was stupid. Because Jane's not dead. Yeah, what do you think the police are going to do now, Natalie? The police think she could have been a heroin addict, Mike. They don't know her like I do. She's my daughter, and I'm going to find her. <laughs>